Okay, we're here today, uh, Sunday. Unfortunately, we had to come in Sunday to prepare for tomorrow's Operation Gobbler Given. And as you can see, that we have collected a lot of food drives from schools and organizations. And um, right now, we're just uh, preparing for tomorrow. Uh, we're very thankful a lot of schools uh, and organizations have worked together with us to make sure that every family would have a Thanksgiving Day meal. So I want to thank every school, every organization, and all those who made donations to make this outreach a success. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. We're here today, Operation Gobble are Given, where we're giving our turkeys and the trimmings and everything. And we have a lot of our volunteers. We also have from West Elm. Uh, that group is here today to help us out. And um, we're just preparing now everything from fruits to vegetables. Um, our turkeys are now being distributed outside. And um, it's a great day for many that they can now at least uh, be secure to have a good Thanksgiving dinner uh, for them and their family. There's a light that we must follow. It seemed far away, but yet it's next to you. There's a road that we must take to see the hunger and heartache, children dying, mothers slowly losing faith. With so many people dying, oh, can we turn our way? We must listen to our conscience and save a life. It helps me out with me and my son, with Thanksgiving turkey, everything without it, I will have nothing for me and my son. And I also participate because I'm a senior citizen and I'm on a fixed budget. And uh, without the help from the pantry, from the reaching out program, I would not be able to have a nice holiday because I would not be without the food and the turkey that they're giving out today. So I'm very thankful for the pantry and for the help that I get from the community. Yes, exactly. Thank you so very much. Thank you, too. Thank you. Huh? Happy holidays Happy to everybody. Happy holidays today. to everybody. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Say bye. Uh, Hi, I'm here at Reach Out Community Service, and uh, I'm here to pick up a free turkey. And it just wouldn't be, I got two kids and a wife, I'm married, you know, and it, I just can't afford it on my own. I can't do it no more. It's just, without them, it wouldn't be a Thanksgiving. So I thank them very much, and, you know, wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm here at Reaching Out Community Center because they're going to help me with my Thanksgiving dinner, which I would not have a Thanksgiving dinner if I did not come here. I've been coming here eight years. This is a fabulous place. They help me tremendously. Um, they're going to give me my turkey because I don't... Right now, um, unfortunately, I don't have the resources to have a Thanksgiving dinner for my family. I have three children, and I'm reaching out to the community, and they're going to help me. Here we are today, Friday, November 22nd at PS 186, and we had our annual food drive along with our student council and, of course, our principal, Mrs. Kadad. The PS 186 school family was able to bring in 40 cartons of food. We are also concluding with our Operation Doctor Giving, and as of right now, we have $900, and that's feeding 45 families. By the end of today, we're hoping to reach our goal of 1,000 so that we could feed 50 families for Thanksgiving. So We're going to donate the food drive to the hopeless people. 
and we're collecting food. We're collecting food for the PS186 food drive. This is the PS186 food drive. We're helping homeless people to give them food. I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> um, we, we love to support the people who don't have anything to do. This is the PS186 food drive. Uh, we're trying to help the people who are less fortunate than us. So we just want to say that we are so proud of our entire school community, our parents, our staff, our students. Everyone really came to together for a great cause and to help others in our own community. So we're very proud of everyone and we're very excited to be a part of this wonderful initiative to put smiles on faces, um, food on tables. So and we want to just say keep up the great work to reaching out services. We're very proud of their efforts as well. PS229. We did a food drive for reaching out community services. We're so happy that we were able to collect food to help the community and to help the families in need. And we just love our community and we're so thankful this year that we were able to do this. from PS682. I'm the community assistant. We did a food drive for the reaching out to our community to serve and help families in need for Thanksgiving. I did a food drive because people that don't have food, when I get them, when I get the food, they can cook them. So here we are today at Joseph B. Cavallaro. Um, we collected all this food and we're donating it to the new Utrecht Pantry and we hope that it goes to the people who need it and hopefully they have a great Thanksgiving because of it. Thank you very much. We're here today at PSIS 180 to distribute the food that our, our students have collected for families that are in need to go to the food pantry and our students will now say a few words. Doing this has helped me become a better person and I feel good being able to help people in need. And the reason we and the reason we collected the can for food drivers is to help the people who lost their home in Hurricane Sand last year in November. And also, we, we're going to bring the cans to the food pantry and give it to the people. We gave you April and cans, and if one person brings in a can, they, they could be a difference. Today, we are here with this food drive to help all the families in need um, to make them feel like they belong. Together we collected all of this food for the families in need of food for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. There's a light that we must follow it seemed far away, but yet it's next to you. Okay, so I just want to thank you very much for doing the food drive, for reaching out to the food pantry. So would you guys like to share first who you are and how did you go about doing the food drive? Well, I'm Dylan. This is Marco. Julia. This is. We're from Troop 337, Boy Scouts over at Our Lady of Guadalupe. And November is Scouting for Food Month, so we tried to do our part and held the food drive over at Key Food on uh, Saturday. And we didn't do too badly. It was pretty fun uh, asking people and how they said yes, um, and collecting the food and uh, collecting money for the people who were less fortunate. Thank you. 
20th here today, raising awareness for those in need in the neighborhood. We're trying to do a food drive to raise uh, food, need food and finances for reaching out community services. Because the boys and girls need to understand that need is in their own backyard, not just across the country, but across the world. Hi, I'm Elaine Delaney, and I'm the Cub Master of Pat 20, and we're here with the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts today doing our annual food raise. Right, scouting for food to help out reaching out community services. So, Cub Scouts always do a great job. Um, we're here because um, we're trying to raise money for for hungry people and try to get food for like people who don't have, like don't have money to buy food or anything for or homeless people. I'm here because it's fun to help take charge and help in people who's less fortunate. We're here, uh, Pack Twenty. We're trying to collect food to feed the unfortunate. But once again, the Pack. 20 and Scout has uh, come together to help fight against hunger in our community and we're very thankful that these kids have um, show a concern for our community and the members that are struggling to put food on their table. Um, so we're very thankful um, that we actually give thanks for this time of Thanksgiving but at the same time we try to make a difference by helping somebody else have a Thanksgiving dinner uh, for them and their family as well. So um, I just want to thank all the scouts and the troop here that helped again um, to make a difference uh, as we give thanks at the same time as we offer to other people a hope that they don't have to struggle to find out where to get food again. So thank you every, everybody for what you've done today and um, we thank you for what you actually do throughout the whole year as well. So have a great Thanksgiving day and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you. All right, well, we're coming a little bit to the final of uh, distributing turkeys right now. And as you can see, we have fresh fruit and sweet potatoes and stuffing and applesauce. And uh, unfortunately, we had to have the line all the way down the block because there's so many families. They were registered here and they were just looking to have a great Thanksgiving day like all of us are looking forward to. So we were glad and we want to thank all our sponsors and everyone that contributed to help this event. Uh, we want to thank you. Have a great Thanksgiving day, and um, we'll keep in touch with you. We'll let you know the other events that are coming soon. Thank you. There's a life that we must follow. It seems far away, but yet it's next to you. There's a road that we must take to see the hunger and heartache, children dying. Mother slowly losing faith With so many people dying How oh, can we turn away? We must listen to our conscience And save a life today Take a step for mankind We can save a child from hunger So the one will be Concern, and I know 